In this video, we're going to look at circle theorems. Now, the first one that you need to know is a very important circle theorem. It says that the angle at the center is twice the angle at the circumference. So, for example, if we look at our question here, we've got the angle at the center is 130, and then this angle at B is known as the angle at the circumference. So this angle will always be half of 130, which is 65 degrees. So now the question says, find the sides of angle CBA, that's CBA, the angle here. So we found that out already, it's 65 degrees. Now this is very important. Give a reason for your answer, and it must be stated in this way, that the angle at the center is twice the angle at the circumference. Do not change the reason, do not alter it. It must remain exactly how it is. It must be stated in that way. Here's a question for you to try. Pause the video. And um, once you've, uh, you want to check your solution with mine, you can play the video. Welcome back. Okay, so the question says that the angle at the circumference is 75, and we want to work out angle AOB, which is the angle at the center. Well, we know that the angle at the center is twice the angle at the circumference. So it's going to be double of 75, which is 150. So we can write down 150 degrees. And therefore we can state our reason, which is the angle at the center is twice the angle at the circumference. Here's another one for you to try. Pause the video, give it a go, and then watch. wait for my work solution. Welcome back. Okay, so, here we have a question, again with an arrowhead. Now we've got the angle at the center is x, and we need to work out what x is. But the question is, where is the angle at the circumference? Well, it is here. Well, I can see a straight line. And we know that angles on a straight line add up to 180. So we can do 180 minus 123, and that's going to be 10 take away three, which is seven, and seven take away two, which is five, which is going to give me 57 degrees. So I know that this angle here is 57 degrees, and we need to double that, so we can do 57 multiplied by two, that gives me 14, that's 10 plus the one is 114. So this angle here at the center is 114 degrees, so we can say it's 114 degrees, but this time we need to state two things, two reasons for this question. First, that angles on a straight line add up to 180. And the second reason is the angle at the center is twice the angle at the circumference. Now notice this question did not ask for the reason, or well, it does ask for the reason actually. Um, always, there are cases where exam questions don't ask for the reason. How, however, in those instances, 
please make sure you always write down the re reason regardless. Most of the time in exam questions, they'll state very clearly, give reasons for your answer as they do in this question, but always make it a rule of thumb that you always write it down.